generative economies focus on actually um, on, on nourishing uh, communities, nourishing uh, the natural ecosystem that they are part of. Well, you hear more voices talking about uh, the limits to growth. Uh, we, we now see more and more policymakers and politicians also embracing, you know, how we can transition our economies towards these 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 other these other ways of not only of producing but also of living. You know, you hear a lot about degrowth economy, well-being economy is 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 almost mainstreamed. Um, in the southern countries, I think you hear a lot about social solidarity economy. Uh, there is the donut and a lot of these the feminist caring economy. All these things overlap. They all, uh, you know, they, they they have their different focuses, but they're very similar in the way they see what is important, uh, what is to be valued, and what human beings are uh, uh, moving away from this image of or this this simple model of the homo economicus to this more reciprocal um, uh, uh, human beings who, who, who care uh, and who are social and cooperative and not just uh, utility maximizing. Right. So we are asking for a more participatory approach to the renovation of this building, which is uh, publicly owned by the regional administration, but uh, we, we contest the fact that the, the regional administration has uh, delegated uh, to turn this building into a, a, a museum for uh, architecture and design. We think that uh, this kind of uh, uh, use will museify, we say, will, would not be uh, useful and relevant for the local uh, community. The historical uh, city center in Naples uh, is still inhabited by low-income uh, communities. It's very socially mixed, so touristification processes have been uh, uh, threatening this kind of uh, socially embedded uh, uh, mixture of, uh, of communities. So we, we want to shift from uh, value extraction to to value creation and possibly uh, creating public value, a, a, a new kind of uh, 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 public place within a, a neighborhood, within an area in which there has been, as you said, only uh, um, economic extractivism. And we are quite in the start of working with uh, the more local sustainable economy. Is that we have done a local economy analysis Oh, we're still developing it, but this is a method and tool that uh, is developed in Sweden and it's been mainly used in more deprived uh, villages in the countryside of Sweden uh, and now they're starting to be more used as well in uh, suburbs in bigger cities. What it's about is first you look in the area and do research or like follow the money basically. So you look where are the money coming from and where are they disappearing? Uh, so where is the leakage of the money and how can you make the money stay and make a more sustainable uh, flourishing economy for the people in the area instead of extracting it? Uh, different possibilities that we're developing and here is uh, as well I can say social work and community center from there we're taking in working together with people as a solution. So it's a good base working from below. And then we want to look out to learn from others, like you have Preston model, Cleveland model, how can we take that into and how we can work with things here in Bergen. So this is the, our big house, our black star from above. So all the black things is solar panels, so you can see. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, so we're impressive. And uh, as well, we would see how we can develop cooperatives doing this. So we could have the power doing it in a good way instead of this companies doing it in a bad way. So then we can make power over the energy and uh, work and jobs, incomes and uh, the environmental good thing about it. Basically, my organization is not in Zagreb. We are 20 kilometers south from Zagreb in rural area. And it is like an uh, educational and uh, living center, eco-social center and permaculture farm. It is also, let's say, a public place where you can uh, come and uh, learn in practice how to use sustainable uh, goals, not in theory, but in your daily life. While we were working uh, uh, more uh, on infrastructure and uh, were doing uh, good with uh, logistics, we started to work uh, more with uh, other partners in society, for example, in public uh, municipalities, and try to pursue them uh, to use, uh, for example, agroecology or uh, 
I wrote one uh, manual for our uh, local authorities how to how to use public policies for social and solidarity economy. So this that is a, a second circle uh, where we are uh, try to uh, make some much more broad uh, impact in society. Mm -hmm.